In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Why'd he bite me? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there.
Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Uh, we're doing Claire B's scenario now. Uh, fun fact, in the original timeline of Resident Evil, it's supposed to be Claire A scenario and then Leon B. However, I don't think Claire B gets much attention, so that's why I decided to do things in reverse. I'll do the original timeline when we get to the remakes. But for now, let's go get this key before the zombie has a full time to turn around and eat our flesh. And dodged. Ah. Goodbye. Alright, let's pick up the items here, which is bullets. Good. And ha increment. Perfect. Well, not going through that door again. Can I just run past y'all? Aha! Nice try! You know, I find it hilarious that when we actually use the submachine gun against the zombies, it, like, completely obliterates them. But in, like, cutscenes and stuff like that, they're, like, these, like, unstoppable monsters. Hilarious. Also, if I was the pilot, I... As soon as I saw him go, like, get attacked by the zombies, I probably would have cut my losses. And be like, nope, sorry, bye. Alright, this guy has more bullets. He's been pecked to death. It's Harold! Oh my god! Ah! Bird! We'll grab these herbs on the way back. Alright, this zombie has... Well, corpse. Has handgun bullets. Let's get the valve, and let's go back. We'll deal with this room later. Alright, go in here and use the valve. Done. Perfect. Now. Yes, please. I'll take those. That can only mean good things. And now I can't go back. The way is shut. And now we have Mr. X to deal with, and he's gonna give it to us. Whoops. 
how do I get past him without him hitting me? Answer, cancel. But I can wait for him to do that and walk away scot-free. You know, I totally agree with you, Mr. X. You totally should have been in Dead by Daylight. You and Nemesis should have been partners. Got him. <laughs> the way he falls is so funny. It's like there's a bonk. I'm totally adding a bonk noise every time he falls. I will not be memed. Too late, Mr. X. They already gave it to you. What? Okay, uh, let's go uh, turn some items into the item box. Let's grab that. This file we already read in the original playthrough is Leon. And handgun bullets. Alright, I am not going to, um, use the infinite rocket launcher because, <laughs> let's make the game challenging at least. Alright, let's save our progress. Good. And with that, let's put the ink ribbon away. Should I keep the acid rounds? Um... Not right this instant, so let's put them away. Reload. And go back to the store. Oh no! Someone is watching a very scary movie over there. Unfortunately, I can't go over and turn the TV off. A puzzle for later. An item for now. Oh my. Oh, he got me. Dang it. I was hoping for a lunge attack because they usually miss those. But we're still good. And now that we have the blue key card, we can go to the main hall, use the computer, and unlock the doors. To look for survivors in the other rooms. But we all know that that's a bunch of baloney. Let's activate the ladder here, so that way we got the shortcut. I'm just going to skip that because it's just a ladder descending. We don't necessarily need it. Now, let's clear this area out of the zombies so we can get an item. Down. Die, zombies. I don't even think I'm hitting Oh, dang it. I hate those. That's enough out of you. Grab the unicorn metal. We're still fine, so that's good, actually. Very good. We can't access the library because the door's locked. So let's head down to the first floor and uh, let's see about unlocking it. But first, Mwaha, come to Papa. Uh, we'll leave the ink ribbon here. Now let's use the key card. All 
Alright, I think the door to Marvin is still locked. So we can't do nothing about that. But before we do anything else, let's head out here. And deal with Brad. Yes, unlike Leon, there is a there is not a no item pickup requirement before meeting Brad. Since you're forced to pick up the cabin key to even get into the game. So Brad's just down here. Where is there is Brad? Wait for him to get closer. Take the full force of these grenade rounds. Alright, let him do this. It's an insta-kill to Brad. So victory is ours. We use this to free up space. And we get a special key for our troubles. I say it's a total win. Now, I believe we should go this way. Yeah. Let's go this way. And get this ready, because we've got company. Alright, let's just switch to the handgun. Oh, I didn't realize there was zombies over there. Gotcha. That should do it. Nope, not yet. There we go. All right. Room clear. Ah, oh, I ran into that one. All right, so I'm going to just do that. Heal, and you know what? That too. That one on the ground can live, because I'm not going to waste my bullets on that. Look, ammo. Alright, so we're gonna open this up. The passcode should be 2236. Perfect. And we also get a map. Now that we're done here, let's leave. This area should be clear of all zombies because, well, <laughs> I did that. Here we are, the library. What was that? Oh. Well, that's not good. Nah, we'll leave it there. Oh, I forgot to drop off the unicorn medal. You know what? I'll worry about that later. Well, damn. But that's okay. Puzzle time. Now, I believe all I have to do... Let's make this go to the right, as well as this. And that should be puzzle solved. Yep. And we get a tablet this time instead of a plug for our trouble. Perfect. Okay, so if push comes to shove, I'm going to have to use a grenade round. So that way I can equip the um, acid shells. Yes, please. Ooh, handgun bullets. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
Let's see. Zombies. Dang it. Got too close. That kind of worked, but not really. Just start firing. Don't stop. Well, that worked. Did he have anything? Nope, of course not. The door is nailed shut. Nope. Oh, trust me, Claire. Especially you. If Leon couldn't fit through there, <laughs> no way, sister. No zombies. That's a plus. Alright. Well, we're good on ammo right now. So let's see what's in here. Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. It's nice of the fact that the save file recognized that he should be in his uh, costume right there. Ooh, bow gun. Nice. Uh, I can't carry that. Shit. I'm gonna have to come back. Ah! Help me! Oh no! Leave that little girl alone, zombie! A small ventilation shaft. It's far too small for an adult. The day is saved! We'll deal with that in a second. I want to go use the special key. And I also need to hit up an item box. No zombies? Interesting. I could have sworn this place would be crawling with them. Unless Leon already killed them all. Alright, let's use the special key and see what's inside. There is one outfit that will fit you. Sure, why not? There's an old gun here. The Colt SAA. Ooh. Now, does that require special bullets or can I use... The big iron on her hip. Ah, that uses handgun bullets. So you know what? We're gonna switch over to the revolver and leave that there. We're also gonna put that away. We'll also put the bow gun away for now, and we'll keep this set up here. Should I save my game? Not right now. So let's go back to the star's office and get that key. The diamond key. Alright, come here, you. Let's also search the desk and see if we can't get more film from here. Ah, there you are. Anything in here? No. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I already searched there. Oh, what's this? A fax now? Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted an internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella, so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing the investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of on two separate counts during his years as a university student. Yikes. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charge but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! And the red jewel is mine. Let's head back to the safe room, deposit the red jewel, and then use the film and see what's on it. Oh, we probably already know what it is. Yep. Uh, Wesker, what, what's your deal? Why? Why do you have that? More importantly, why do you have that stashed away in your locker? Well, desk. And as you can see, the revolver is a very fast shot. And, well, it's actually pretty fast reloading, too. I thought that was the drawback. It had slow reloading. Silly me. This definitely is the big iron on our hip. This is even faster reloading. Are you dead? You are now. Not yet. All right. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, oh. Oh, look. A detonator. Don't mind if I do. Now I can destroy that blockage. The helicopter. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Room's clear. And here we deposit the, I gotta get closer. Here we are. The unicorn metal. And the spade key is ours. Now I'm trying to remember the spade key goes where? We do have those two areas down there, but I think I need the heart key and the club key. Nah, we'll worry about it in a second. Oh, good time to reload, Claire. Okay, I do be running low on bullets.
You know, I think this is the first and possible last time I saw zombies in a safe room. I might be wrong. Ooh, a first aid spray. I'll take that. Alright, we have the de bomb and detonator. One bullet in the chamber. And we have acid rounds. Should I go get the bow gun? Nah, we should be alright. I'm gonna use these acid rounds because I think there's liquors down this way. And I think this kills them in one shot. Ooh, he has something. Yes! I'll take that. Oh, well that worked. Haha! -ha. The copy machine. Useless. Ink ribbon? No. Alright, we need to push this, but first... Ah, the lighter. We need that. Let's get it. There we go. Alright, I guess there's no liquors in this hallway. So let's equip this and continue down. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there were zombies down this hallway. Well, they just had to show up. Let's see. Any ammo or anything by chance? Nope. Just the operation report. Nope. Okay. Um, I do need to clear something for this puzzle. Maybe I'll just use up an herb mix and save the first aid spray for an emergency. Uh, what's over here real quick? Yeah. All right. This is more important. All right, those zombies should have reset the room. Well, in the room. So let's continue this way. Let's just go. All right, we made it back. I think we should save the game while we're at it. Uh, the lighter I'm gonna keep because I think I need that. Actually, we'll put it away for now. Because I need the other red jewel more than anything. We're going to use this soon. And I need to figure out where the other door is for that. Alright, let's take this chance to save our game. Aha! Here we are. I knew I, the key had to be somewhere. Had to be used somewhere around here. A first aid spray. I only have one space for right now, so let's just grab what's important in the room. The eagle stone. And let's get out of here. Hmm. No jump scare. Fascinating. But now with that, let's go use the stones and then go use the detonator. I'll see you there. All right, so let's use the detonator. What do you mean? All right, maybe here. All right, whee! 
There we go. We'll go down there in a second. But right now, let's go use the uh, gemstones. Oh, that's right. The liquor should be in this room, so let's equip the grenade launcher. There you are. Ooh, that works wonders. Now, let's use... <clears throat> Thank you. One more. And we got another slab? Well, half of one. We need to find the other piece. Wherever that went. But you know what? Let's go get our other piece. And uh, bring it with us. Now let's go down this way and explore. Further. And investigate that scream. And turn off that scary movie. It's a school night. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Sure thing, bud. Eh, let's just get away from the crazy man. A stuffed animal. A tiger. Hello? Someone there? Hmm. Oh, hey, look! A portrait! Well, that was weird. What's over here? A file. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a ferocious look on his face. Furious. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. June 15th. I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. And it all worked out in the end, and happy endings for everyone. Except for Irons, who went to jail. Wait. Let me go! Easy, easy there! I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then... 
What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Well, that's strange. Oh, hey, look, bullets. Uh, equip this, please. Chief? Where'd he go? Ooh, the heart key. Alright, we need to go back to the first floor then. But first, let's put these away in here. You know, that's a very trippy painting. The Chief's Diary. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in the town if this proves to be true. Yes, he's completely on the... He is not unhinged at all. I trust him explicitly. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes, routes inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. 26. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy, yes. Frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. Sheesh! Well, that was weird. Anybody else heard that? Now, ah, well. Now, we need to go use the heart key. And we also need to get the lighter back, I think. So let's grab the lighter. Should I send this back? Yes. Space is important right now. Okay, so. Out of my way. I'm not here to kill you. Oh wait, you're all new. Really? There we go. Bye. All right. Um Uh-oh. Nope. Didn't think so. That's alright. There are herbs here. So, we can hold our own. Ah, this wasn't too bad. Oh, I take it back. Nice. 
Let's just throw that in there. Yep, we need the club key. It's all good. Down we go. <laughs> 